Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to be focusing on DNS or domain name system. We are first going to check out the DNS console and see what we can do from it, what are the basic tasks that we can perform from this MMC console and then create a reverse lookup zone since this is not created automatically when we promote a server to a domain controller. Without further ado, let's get to business. Okay, so I'm logged on on lab DC01. And to open the DNS console, we can either go to uh, tools from server manager and click on DNS. Or we could go to the start menu in Windows administrative tools and click on DNS. In the DNS console, we can see that we have the option to manage the local server, but also remote servers. If we right click on one of the servers that we manage, we get a couple of options. The first ones, like a new zone or configure DNS server, are accessible also from other places, so we will not focus on them. An interesting one is scavenge stale resource records. This is used to basically clean up DNS and delete old records that are not used anymore. And in all tasks, we can also control the DNS service. Stop it, start it, restart it, pause it, and so on. If we go to properties, we have a couple of things we could do here. For example, uh, if a server has multiple uh, interfaces, we could say on which interface uh, it will respond to DNS queries. And we could also set forwarders. In case the server gets a DNS query and it cannot answer it, it can use a forwarder to forward that query to another server. Now going on to forward lookup zones. These, as you know, are the basic zones that we use in DNS that 90% of the time are used to resolve domain names to IP addresses. And here we have this one that is created by Active Directory and you should not mess with it. And this one that is the zone of our domain and it also contains some uh, resources created by Active Directory and also our server names with IP addresses. These are the only things that you should mess with when working on this zone. In reverse lookup zones we do not have anything right now, but this zone is used to resolve IP addresses to DNS names. And now we will be actually creating a reverse lookup zone. Just right click, new zone, and in this uh, wizard we can say what zone type we want. In our case we want a primary zone and we want it to be integrated with Active Directory, so not stored in a text file. We can also choose the level at which the zone replicates, and I'm fine with the default, so we can leave it like this. And of course we use IPv4. And now it asks us to enter the IP prefix. And in my case, it's 192.168.20. If using Active Directory, this option is perfect. And we have our zone created. For reverse lookup zones, the zone name is a little strange and you should try to get used to it because the 
IP is in a reverse order. If you have 192.168.20, the reverse zone is called 20.168.192. As you can see, we do not have anything created right now, any uh, mapping for an IP to a name. And to create such records, we could uh, put them manually or let servers register them automatically. And uh, for the one that I'm logged on now, I can show you how it's done. Open a CMD or a Windows PowerShell console as administrator. And just run ipconfig slash register DNS. And since we are on the local server, it should happen very quickly. Just click on the zone and refresh it. I will use F5. And now we have a pointer record which is basically a DNS record that can resolve an IP address to a name. So that was a quick look at the DNS console and creating a reverse lookup zone. Hey everyone, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you found the video at least a little useful, please like, share and subscribe. It would help me a lot. Thank you again and see you in the next one.